Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install mods on your server and client using Forge Mod Loader. I'd like to mention that only paid premium and pro servers have the ability to run mods. Also, before we begin, I'm going to answer some of the most asked questions and then show you the process of installing mods. If you only want to see the installation part, skip ahead in this video. First of all, I'll go over what a mod is and what type of mods there are. A mod or modification is something that changes your game, by either altering something that already exists in the game or adding something new. There are two types of mods in Minecraft, client-side only mods and both client and server-side mods. Client-side mods are mods which do not require the server to have installed and running. This means that only you see the changes in the game. Some examples of such mods are Optifine, Minimap mods, Damage Indicators and HUD mods like Better HUDs and a lot lot more. Other mods, which are both client and server side, will allow all players on the server to see the changes in the game, hence why both the server and the client needs to have them installed. Some examples include Tinker's Construct, Biomes Plenty, The Twilight Forest and a lot more. What is Forge? Forge is a mod itself, however it's a special type of mod that organizes other mods so that they work together. Essentially, Forge is an API which allows you to load and run different mods together without having any compatibility issues, meaning that mod developers will use and base their mods around this Forge mod. This is why it's sometimes called a Forge mod loader. Mods, just like plugins, require memory to run. Without enough memory on your server or client, everything becomes laggy and eventually crash. So, how much memory do you need to run mods? That all depends on the mod and how many you have installed. The more mods, the more memory you need. The bigger the mod and the more features it has, the more memory the server and client needs. Therefore, we can't exactly tell you how much memory you would need as different mods require a different amount of memory. If you would like a more specific answer, send us a message and we'll help you out. However, we usually recommend having at least 4GB of memory available on your server and roughly the same on your client. To install mods on your client, you first have to install Forge. To do that, go to the Forge website, which will be linked in the description. On the left here, you'll see all the Minecraft versions Forge is available for. Download the one that matches your mods. So if your mods are only compatible with Minecraft 1.10, then you'll need to select this one here. However, in this case, the mods I want to install are for Minecraft version 1.12.2. The latest versions will work fine, however they can sometimes be unstable and crash, so we'll get the recommended version. This also depends on the mod versions you have. The .jar installer here should work fine for both Mac and Windows, and the Windows installer will only work for Windows. Open the installer and install the client, like so. What you want to do after it is make sure it works. You'll have to create a new launch option. We have a tutorial on how to do that, click on the little eye in the top right corner to watch that video. There will also be a link in the description. Allocate more RAM to your client by enabling this option here. We do not recommend allocating more than half of your total computer's memory. Now let's save and run the game. As you can see Minecraft booted up and everything works fine. Now let's download the mods and install them. All Forge mods can be found on this website, which will be linked in the description. I'm going to install the Twilight Forest mod and the storage drawers. Both of these mods are server side and client side, so we'll have to install them to our server too, which we'll do later. To find out what version of Minecraft this mod supports, just head over to the files tab over here and you'll see all the versions you can download. Let's download the latest one here. The Twilight Forest mod doesn't have any dependencies, so you don't need to download anything else, however the storage drawers does. To find out if a mod has any dependencies, just read the page and it usually says if it does or not. As you can see the storage drawers mod requires the chameleon library. Another way to check is to hover over relations here and it will show you its dependencies, so make sure to download download that, otherwise the mod will not work. Now to install them, head over to your .minecraft folder by going to start and typing percent app data percent. You'll see a mods folder here, if you don't then create one. Now copy all your mods into the folder here and you're pretty much done. Just run minecraft and it should all work fine. And as you can see. All the mods are loaded and everything works correctly.
To install mods on your server, first of all, we need to make sure that we are running Forge. Just head over to the reinstall section and select Forge. Install the one that your mods support. Usually it's the latest one on top. If you're unsure which one it is, send us a message and we'll help you out. I'm going to remove my previous files just in case there are any conflicts, but of course you can create a backup of your files if you want. Once you've installed Forge, you should see a mods folder right here. Upload all your mods to this folder just like this. Restart your server and you're ready to go. As you can see I've connected and everything works correctly. And that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And if you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.